I Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations unto the whole elect. And it was in this gospel abroad, lift up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever they may be. Oh man, um, this is the spirit, man. This should show you that these things are coming into a, a quick close, you know, throughout this president. A presidential election or this presidential race between Biden and Trump shows you don't matter who gets in office because uh, this is an email that was sent to us um, and this is my computer here uh, at the job man and uh, they sent us this in the other folder and basically and I'm trying to be careful because I'm not trying to expose you know the name and you know the company and stuff like that but this is about schools and says what you need to know about COVID-19 testing in schools. So first reading that title, this lets me know that they're going to start, you know, testing these students so they can be justified on distributing these particular uh, sicknesses and needles, I, I would say. But um, it says schools across the state have worked hard to safely reopen the doors for in-person learning for Missouri. Now, this is to uh, Missouri. It says for Missouri students. It says here, once schools, oh, it says op once open, schools must work equally as hard to keep their doors open. And it says, and all this is done while continuing to, and bear with me, I'm trying to read it off the screen, protect the health and safety of students and staff members. It says the Department of Elementary and Secondary uh, Education, which is the DSE, partner with the Department of Health and Senior Services, which is the DHSS, which are all government entities, okay, through the state, and state emergency uh, management agency, which is the SEMA, to support their local efforts. It says this was done by providing an additional resource. It says the reliable or the newly available rapid antigen tests, okay? So I'm going to actually look that up. But you understand when you have certain provisions on the state law, a lot of those are not really federally mandated, okay, because state jurisdictions and federal jurisdictions, though they coincide, federal jurisdictions are over state, but nonetheless, the state oversees their own plateau, so to speak. So a lot of things that's done on a state level are indeed illegal or what they call under the color of law. Like if you go, like if you go into a Title 4D in a child support uh, agency, which is a private institution that's set up through private corporations all right it's not lawful it's not uh, expedient nor is it uh legal which is not lawful but yet they're able to get away with these different things because they're under what you call the color of law but they're not law so a lot of times in order to challenge what the state is doing you have to take it to a higher court because there's no remedy for these particular uh laws or draconian methods on the state code okay and this is basically what we're reading here about the testing in schools because if you ain't having symptoms then there's no need to get tested okay but they go into all this a symptomatic bs but it says here the federal government and matter of fact i'm gonna just read it it says the federal government recently prioritized public and private k-12 institutions to receive the abat by neck or the it says abbott by next now by next now rapid antigen test kits to test symptomatic school personnel and students for COVID-19. It says the nasal swab test must be administered by a health professional, school nurse. It yields in just 15 minutes. So it re basically the results is in 15 minutes. You know, and on a, a 15 minute test, bam, they'll know if you're positive or not. So basically this is another form of testing since usually testing takes weeks to come back. But it says here, while the, DA, while the DESE continues to urge families and school staff members to stay home when they aren't feeling well, we recognize how viable these tests can be, especially during cold and flu season. It says this is because it helps quickly identify for individuals with mild symptoms of COVID-19 or some other illnesses. But usually in this case, they would just say it's the COVID because you notice nobody's been dying from cancer or the flu or, you know, tuberculosis or pneumonia. Nobody's been succumbing to these particular illnesses, you know, it's just been COVID, 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 you know, which shows you that this is a part of a plan that the elites have been conjuring up for some time. It says state officials begin shipping thousands of antigen test kits to participating public and private schools across the state last week. 
but nearly 330 district slash schools applied to participate. So they request approximately 589,000 test kits for use with system, uh, symptomatic students and school personnel. It says many district slash schools will perform these rapid tests on site. And this comes after receiving the appropriate consent from the staff member on the other student or parent's guardian. But some K-12 institutions have partnered with their local health department and other medical provider in their community to assist giving these tests. So positive and tests positive and negative tests will result and will be reported electronically to DHSS within 24 hours. All right. So basically, man, they're ramping this thing up because, like I said, the more positive tests they got, the more they can justify, you know, inoculating you against your right. So it says you can also click the new K-12 entity test program, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to click on that and show you brothers uh, throughout the different counties in Missouri how they're uh, basically ramping up for these tests and how they're going to send them to a lot of public schools, which indeed a lot of our students reside in. All right. You live in the inner city nine times out of ten. Your child attend a public school. All right. So these are the numbers. OK, this is K through well, K, which is kindergarten through 12, which is the senior high school institutions have received a test. So it says one hundred and ninety five thousand nine hundred and sixty tests shipped. And these are the different counties throughout this uh, throughout the state of Missouri. All right. So you got, uh, let me see here, and uh, give me a second. Wow. So you got Jefferson City, you got St. Charles, you got St. Louis City. And uh, just clicking on different counties and so forth, they give you different numbers. Like, I'm going to click on St. Louis, all right, and see what happens. And it's a population of 212,907. So as you see that I'm scrolling... These numbers are changing as I'm going to different provinces, etc. You know, so hey, this thing is coming down to the wire, brothers. You know, call all you have about your how shy. They're getting ready to make their move. I really believe that. That's why I say that in the last lesson, this presidential debate, it really don't matter. You know, and these are the schools I'm assuming on the on the right hand side here, which says schools pending shipment upon. So they're waiting on these shipments of these particular tests. But nonetheless, they want to start this as soon as possible because we're in flu season now. And more flus justify the numbers going up. So you brothers out there that may have your kids part of these schools and stuff like that. Hey, man, it may be time to take a stand on certain things because we know that certain tests, you know, administer uh, uh, certain results. And you want to be very, very careful with that. You know. So anyway, I got a precept here. This wasn't intended on being a long lesson. I just thought I'd share this with you brothers. And the more information I get on this, the more I can update the body, you know, including you brothers that may reside in Missouri. You know, you brothers, that's part of my camp. You know, uh, you know, you have kids. I have kids. You know, I have uh, a child, should I say. And, um, you know, these are just things that, you know, we should know about and we should be hip to. Because, hey, the scriptures say, be not ignorant of anything small or great. So, Brookside Charter School, what is this? All right, Center 58. Huh, so, yep, hey, brothers, this is all coming down to the head. So, hey, we got to stay on our watch, like the scripture said in Ezekiel. It says, hey, be a warning unto the nation of Israel. You know, warn our people that, you know, the enemy is coming, a flood is coming. You got to warn them and let them know. Because if not, then the blood is going to be on our hands. All right. But anyway, this is the book of uh, Job 13. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 5. It says, But ye are all forgers of lies, and your physicians are no value. Okay. This is nothing more but to get numbers up so they can do what they have to do. You know? And that's just how the cookie crumbles. And the crazy part about it is, our people... They're going to fall right for the madness. They're going to go right down to E. And, you know, whatever happens at that point, this is what they're going to do. Because they're not going to take uh, advice from the men of the Lord. They refuse to do anything as such. So, therefore, they're going to dig their own grave. You know, and they're going to have to lie in it. Because, hey, they're not taking heed to the warning. All right. Uh, let me 
find here. Yep, this is Hosea 9 and 13. It says, Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim should bring forth his children to the murderer. And we know the murderer is nothing more than Esau Edom himself. Which a lot of you people are going to go down to these places. And you're going to allow yourself to be put in an unfavorable predicament. And then it's going to prove to be a detriment to you and your families. If you're not paying attention to the signs out here. So once again, we're warning you tribes, man. But it's up to you. To take heed to the message that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is speaking through his men. Okay? I got one more precept and I'm going to close it down. Book of Sirach 9 and 13. It says here, Keep thee far from the men that have the power to kill, so shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. Okay? Keep away from these people. These people are not for your benefit. You know, they're not for your, for your endearment. It says, If thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goes in the midst of stairs, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. All right, so hey, be careful, and you brothers out there, be circumspect, pay attention, start reading those newsletters, man. You know, start looking at your kids' uh, newsletters and the things that they're bringing home with these students, because I think a lot of, like my kid now, she's basically virtual homeschool. You know, but even that is gonna come with a certain choice because eventually they're gonna threaten the parent and say, well, you know. If you can't bring your kid back to school and get tested, we're just going to come and take them from you. So that's coming, too. And now it's time to make a stand with your how about you, how we shy. All right. But anyway, with that, brothers, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you, how we shy about you, You know what? Salakia, I said I was going to look up this. Let me look it up. Let me not lie. Yep. And basically what I was breaking down in, in early in the video, it broke itself down. But basically just to give you brothers a more visual insight because i knew you couldn't really see the screen it says by next now it's an antigen it's an antigen or antigen test that detects the presence of sars cov 2 which is the virus that causes the covid 19 infection it says in about 15 minutes the specimen for the test is called a via nasal swab it says this test is completely voluntary and will not be administered unless it form is signed they say that now okay but things are subject to change you got to read between the bold print and Esau is putting certain things out there. Okay, you can't just believe everything they tell you. Because eventually, <laughs> it's going to be an issue. You know. But anyway, uh, with that, giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. That belongs to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And with that, Shalom, Lord, will you edify edified until the next lesson. Shalom.